These events, the declaration said, had led the United States to impose drastic sanctions causing damage 1,000 times greater than the aid it is trying to force on the country. U.S. Special Representative for Venezuela Elliot Abrams Credit AP, between February 6 and 10 military transport aircraft have flown to the Rafael Miranda Airport of Puerto Rico, the San Isidro Air Base, in the Dominican Republic and to other strategically located Caribbean islands, probably without knowledge of the governments of those nations. The declaration said, these flights originated in American military installations from which units of special operations and Marine Corps operate, which are used for covert actions, it said. U.S. Special Envoy for Venezuela Elliot Abrams, asked about the Cuban statement at an event in Washington, said, It is a new lie, the Dominican Republic's foreign minister, Miguel Vargas, in a statement issued from Italy where he is accompanying the country's president, said no U.S. military transport planes had landed in his country. He also reiterated his government's support for a peaceful solution to the Venezuelan crisis. Loading Venezuela, a major oil producer, is in the throes of a severe economic crisis with a dramatic drop in output and six-digit inflation wreaking havoc on the livelihoods of residents, sending an estimated three million of them seeking refuge in neighboring countries. Communist-run Cuba has been a key backer of the Venezuelan government since the Bolivarian Revolution that began under former leader Hugo Chavez in 1998, most Western and Latin. American countries, including the United States, quickly recognized Guaido as Venezuela's legitimate head of state and pledged millions of dollars in humanitarian aid and support. The aid has begun arriving along the border with Colombia and Brazil. Maduro's socialist government retains the backing of Russia, China and many other nations, as well as control of state institutions including the military. Guaido said on Tuesday the aid would roll across the border on February 23, despite the Maduro government's objections, setting up a possible confrontation. Cuba said on Thursday it was clear the United States wanted to forcibly establish a humanitarian corridor under international protection, invoking the obligation to protect civilians and applying all necessary measures, Reuters.